This is a Royal Canadian Air Force Food Packet Survival AFFP-1. Now weighing in at 1 pound, 11 ounces, and containing approximately 1,750 calories, the Air Force Food Packet 1 was designed to feed a downed pilot for up to four days. Now RCAF pilots were instructed to eat no food for the first 24 hours. So let's check it out. Pull off that key. And lift that tab. No hiss. Look at that. All right, so right off the bat here, we got four packs of instant coffee. Not sure if they're still good or not. They feel like they might be okay. Each one makes out to an eight ounce portion. Well, here's an instructional sheet. This is the first generation of the Air Force food packet. We checked one out well over a year and a half ago. That was the AFFP3 from 1959. Eat no food on the first day of survival. Eat the food slowly. So here are the vitamin tablets. Get 12 of them, three per day. Different from the later models of the AFP. Air Force food packet. Look at that, jelly bars. They still feel a little bit squishy too. That's actually a really good sign. This thing seems pretty well preserved. So you get eight packs of jelly bars and you get these shortbread bars which we'll find out if they're still edible or not. They don't look too bad. This thing almost looks a little bit nicer than that AFFP3, which just had loose jelly bars and it did have chicken soup. This one doesn't have chicken soup and that one did have water purification tablets. This, all right, so there's everything laid out. This ration is primarily carbohydrates and a little bit of fat in these shortbread bars. You get these vitamins here to help you assimilate those calories. And we got this coffee here, which is a little bit of a diuretic, but being able to sit down and gather your thoughts in a stressful survival situation with a hot cup of coffee, definitely make things a little bit more nice in case. Let's first start off with that coffee. Wow, I think that's still fine. Yeah, that's, that is just fine. Check this out. Oh, that's awesome. It's a spray-dried coffee, much like Coffee Instant, Type 1 or Type 2. Second pack. I think this one's just fine as well. Not bad. Well, that coffee is still probably a little bit too hot to get an accurate reading on. Now the vitamins, I'm sorry, I'm not, I'm not going to take vitamins that are over 60 years old. That old cellophane, it unwraps really easily. It's not sticking to these jelly bars. That's a very good sign. These things look fantastic. And they smell pretty good too. I mean, jelly bars, old ones always have that same kind of weird artificial fruit smell to them. And you would get two packs of these and one shortbread cookie and three vitamins per day. That's really not much food at all, but if you weren't eating for the first 24 hours, your body would be put into a starve mode state, essentially. I gotta try one of these out. I wonder what this flavor is. I can't quite tell. 
Oh wow, that's delicious. No off-putting flavors whatsoever. That's lime, and it actually tastes good. Let's check out the red one. Hmm. That's like a dull, sweet cherry. Seriously, all the old cherry jelly bars were kind of bland. Like, there wasn't much flavor to them. You just taste this little bit of cherry. The lime was actually a little bit more complex and predominant of the flavor. But look at that. It's still totally fine. This is awesome. I got this ration from TUA 1911, Toe Under Armour 1911. This fella sent me a whole range of vintage Canadian rations. So huge thanks to TUA 1911 for sending me this amazing ration. So this coffee literally smells just like Coffee Instant. It's a little bit more bold than Type 1, but not as bold as Type 2. Getting one cup of coffee per day, I just used two cups for that mess cup. Living it up. So then the shortbread cookie, the bottom of it, looks a little bit sketchy, but... I think they're literally just lime and cherry, but... I don't know, this, this could be lemon. Let me, let me try that out real quick, actually. Yeah, it is. That's lemon. This ration's never even been photographed. I cannot find one picture. And if it has, it's in an old book. Like, pretty much displaced history. It's this shortbread bar, the bottom looks kind of awful, but that could be perfectly normal. Who knows? I gotta try this out real quick. There is, well, I was just going to say there's absolutely no rancidity to that, and then, wait, yeah, oh yeah, that's, that's a little bit rancid. Oh man, that tasted so good at first, too. Like, I was really excited, I'm, I'm like, having this first bite, and I really should take smaller bites next time, you know, but, wait, yeah, it's, I was just going to go for another bite, and it's, whoa, that's literally stinging the bottom of my tongue. It's like sharp. It feels like needles. It's kind of a shame. I was really hoping that those would be in the same kind of shape as the jelly bars, but I mean, they pretty much are. It's just the shortening in it. Gotta wash that down with some coffee. But, hmm. It's a very airy, lightly sweet shortbread cookie. You bite into it and it kind of crumbles. You could probably make a porridge out of this. I mean, I'm always doing that with these bars. I mean, it just coats onto your tongue, under your tongue, in your throat, on your gums. That rancid film, which is like a numbing, stinging, kind of tingly deal. I'm going to end up going through that coffee really fast. All right, so it's not so hot now. I can give a little bit more of a proper reading. It's lightly acidic, just like type 1 or type 2. I think there's ascorbic acid added, but I'm not absolutely sure. It doesn't say it on the pack, but it has that lightly acidic flavor. It's a little bit more bitter and tastes almost a little bit more complex. It has a nice nutty flavor to it. It's different from the US Coffee Instance. I'm gonna save these. And that one might not be good. This one I'm pretty sure is fine. I mean, I would say the vitamins, probably a no-go. The shortbread cookies, it's edible enough. Yeah, this one's definitely lemon. You can see the yellow tinge to it. Do you get two cherries, one lemon, one lime in each one? I think that's what this is. Okay, that's lemon, that's cherry, that is lime, and I think this is orange. I gotta, I gotta try it. I gotta open up another pack of these. Please. This one right here, I think, is orange. Well, maybe not. I don't know. Now that I take it out of there, because of the cellophane, it makes it look orange, and then when I take it out, it looks a little more red. Yeah, that was cherry. So what is this one? Alright, so you get two red or cherry jelly bars. One lime, one lemon. These have better flavor than U.S. ration jelly bars. I mean, considering how good the lime is. It's a more, I would say, natural, for lack of a better term, you know, lime flavor than the U.S. ration, you know, survival ration, lime jelly bars. And again, storage conditions. This thing was stored in utmost conditions. All right, so this shortbread cookie, 
It smells like that nice rancid fruity kind of smell that it's almost inviting. If you didn't know any better, you'd just bite right in without thinking. Well, hmm. The initial bite is delicious, but like, I think that dark brown stuff on the bottom of the shortbread cookie, gosh, I can't stop smelling it. It just smells so unique. There's nothing quite like it. But I think the brown scuffing stuff or what, what have you, that's from the baking process. It's sitting on a sheet. They all look like that, you know, like they all have that, you know, look. I'm getting less of the rancid effect. I'm feeling it on the left side of my mouth off that last bite. It's okay. Lightly sweet, a little bit crumbly. Pairs perfectly with the, I almost called it coffee instant, just, it's just called coffee. But yeah, it pairs perfectly with that. And again, those, those vitamins make a lot of sense. Primarily B vitamins, they're helping you assimilate the uh, other calories in this ration. So B vitamins are going to help with your mood. And the whole, the whole ration makes a lot of sense. You don't eat for that first 24 hours and then afterwards this thing lasts you for four days. The jelly bars, low thirst provoking. These, because they're rancid, they're thirst provoking, the, the biscuits, but... A good bit of fat content. And I would say an extremely low, probably 8% or so protein content in the entire ration. And that's all in the shortbread. A lot of people have asked me, why do these survival rations contain mostly candy? If you're low on water supply, that's, that's pretty much all you're going to be able to uh, reliably and safely process. The coffee's a diuretic. You could just mix it with some cold water and you're good to go. But if you actually have some hot water, if you didn't have any other, you know, mass cups or any sort of way to house it, you could, you could literally boil it in that metal can, boil water, you fry fish in that thing. You, that metal can has like a half dozen uses. Just like the food pack at Survival Arctic and Survival Tropic in the US, these AFFPs were updated, I believe, every other year. The AFFP3 was produced in 1959. This one has a 155 marked on the front, I believe, like an educated guess. This ration was produced January 1955. They updated this ration every other year. It's pretty decent. So that was a Royal Canadian Air Force AFFP-1. It's in much better shape than the AFFP-3 we checked out coming up two years ago now. Now I still have to find the AFFP-2. We'll one of these days find out what it looks like, what it contains, that one might have the upgrade of water purification tablets. This one was definitely missing those, I feel. That would be a welcome addition to any survival ration. Well, anyway, this is Steve1989 off MRE Info. Hope you liked the video, and I'll be coming back at you with something new. Or old. Alright, cool. See ya.